Hello, welcome to our third lesson on partial differential equations. Okay, so if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, kindly subscribe for more videos. Alright, so in our last discussion, I made mention that if you have um, a first order differential equation that includes something like this, how do you go about it? First, you consider two cases. Okay, consider a case whereby the coefficients of u x and u y are both constant, they are both numbers, okay? And this can be number or it can be a function of both x and y. And this one can also be a number or a function of both x and y. Now, if that happens, then you have to solve this um characteristic equation okay so you solve for this okay and we said that our c will be something like this a function of dx minus ay okay then from our previous discussion, this is what we said, okay. But in this, you have to use two characteristic equations, okay. Kindly take it carefully. You have to use two characteristic equations to solve something like this, okay. So, first of all, you use C, or you can let's call it um, some S, okay. Let's call it some S is equal to that. Then we said tau is also equal to then you just interchange the both of them okay ax plus by this s is being created as a result of this but tau is also created as a result of dy dx is equal to minus a over b okay so you solve this one and you get another constant from this because if i solve this i'll get something like y is equal to minus a over b x plus some constant c2 or this is c yeah c2 so i have b y equals minus a x plus c or c2 you got be seven you multiply through by b you still get a constant so b times c2 is still a constant okay i guess c2 to also be equal to ax plus by okay so you solve these two equations okay these two and these two lines will both characterize the pd okay now knowing this i just wanted you to know that when you have a question of this sort quickly you can in fact, both x and y, sorry, s and tau can be interchanged, okay? So, I'm coming to write them here properly for you. I just wanted to show you how you get them. Okay, so tau can be equal to ax plus by and s should be equal to bx minus ay. Okay? Now, with this, we saw for ux in terms of s and tau or tau and s and us is equal to d u d tau times d tau okay dx plus du d s times d s dx okay now this will give me d tau dx is what a and i get u tau okay then plus what is the s the x is b and i get us okay so this is my ux and uh, my ui will be equal to du d tau time d tau d y then plus du d s times d s d y okay now with this what is my okay let me put it here what is my ui is also equal to what 
the third UI is what B, then U tau, but the S D Y is minus A. So you can minus A U S. Okay. So I just come back to this equation. Okay. This equation here and put everything in. Okay. But mind you, since we are transforming this whole thing into U S and U tau. You have to also transform the two variables x and y, x and y to something like s and tau. This doesn't necessarily mean that x is equal to tau. No, no, this is not what we mean. It means that you have to change whatever equation or function that you have to s and tau. Okay. All right. I will show you the way to do it. Okay. So now I have a u let me write it well. I said that a u x plus b u y plus c u equals f or f of x y. Let me put it that. But since we are coming to write everything in terms of s and tau, we have to change the x and y to the, those variables as well. So of a then u x is what a u tau okay plus b u s then plus b what is my u i u i is this okay b u tau minus a u s plus c u should be equal to f of S tau. Okay, I will show you the way to find x and y in terms of tau. Okay, in terms of tau and s. Okay, all right, let's try to simplify this. Okay, all right, so I have a squared u tau plus a b u s plus b squared u tau. Minus a b u s plus c u is equal to f of s tau. Let me call that one f. Now I have minus a b u s here plus a b u s. So I have a squared then plus b squared into bracket all u tau because tau u tau is here, u tau is here, and plus c u should be equal to some f of s tau now this has tend to become a very simple ODE that we can solve okay let's look at something if we can solve this the final answer will be in terms of what tau and s then we transform them back to uh, x and y I want to show you how to change both x and y into tau and s okay now I have my tau to be ax plus by my s to be bx minus ay let me call these two equation one and two okay so the first one is equation one second one is equation two now if i multiply a by equation one okay this will imply that i'll get something like a tau i'm saying first one is equation one to be called a squared x plus a b y okay and this will give me equation three now if i multiply b to equation one equation two sorry this will give me b s equals b squared x minus a b y this will give me equation four now, if I add these two equations, equation 3 and equation 4, I'll get a tau, um, a tau plus b s equals a squared x plus b squared x. Then if I add this and this, I'll get 0. Okay. It means I'll get a tau plus b s equals a squared plus b squared into bracket x 
now I can quickly find my x from this equation and say that my x is now equal to a tau plus b s all over a squared plus b squared. Now you can keep you can choose to keep this in your mind or you can choose to chill this if you want. Always this will work. X is always a tau plus b s over a squared plus b squared or you can look at the equation that you will get from the question then you solve it simultaneously for your x and y okay now if you do same for y first we multiplied this equation equation one by a if you want to find y multiply equation one by b okay so do it like this b times equation one okay and you get a fifth equation and a times equation two okay equation two and get a seat equation now after that subtract them and you get something like this um let me see let me write it down here okay if i use subtract them i'll get I'll get B tau, okay. Uh, if I subtract them, I'll get Y to be equal to B tau minus A S all over A squared plus B squared. Now this should also be my Y, okay. So it means that I'm, I've been able to transform an equation of the form um, an equation of the form a squared sorry a ux plus b u y plus c of x y u equals f of x y now here this function will be in terms of x and y so it means that wherever I see x, I just compute this and I put it there. Okay. Wherever I see s, I find this value or this expression. A and b will be given in the question. And wherever I see y, I find this expression. I put it there. And this will change these two functions to both s and tau. Okay. Now this will give me a new equation, and the equation will look like this. So it's a squared plus b squared. Okay, u tau plus c u is equal to some f. Now, this c and this f are not the same as this because this u will be the simplified form of both the function c of x, y in terms of s and tau, and this f will also be the function in terms of s and tau. Okay, so now when you are being given a differential equation of this form okay this form okay now this one this is how you come and write it you write it simply like the whole thing should be transformed to a squared plus b squared then u tau plus c u should be equal to f now you should know your tau and your s that your tau is always is equal to ax plus by and your s is always equal to dx minus ay okay and you know that this is your x expression and this is your y expression you substitute them in and you can solve your pde this is actually a general formula for or a general solution to any pde of this form okay now let's consider a case whereby you have um, a different form okay what if you have something like a of x y then u x plus b of x y then u y okay plus c of x y okay then u equals an f of x y 
this means that we have non-constant coefficients okay so in our next discussion we talk about that and then we'll take a general example on both and solve them okay all right thank you